Hello, I am Malak Madhun. Today, our topic will be about respiration. Let's start. Introduction. What is respiration? Respiration is one of the necessary functions for all the living things to stay alive. It is the action of breathing, including the intake of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide. As we can see in the figure below, here is our respiratory system. Types of respiration. There are two main types of respiration, internal and external. Internal respiration it takes place at the level of the lungs, between the blood of the organism and the cells. In the first figure, we can see the alveoli, the carbon dioxide diffusing from the blood to the alveoli, and the oxygen diffusing from the alveoli to the blood. Moving to the external respiration. It takes place at the level of the lungs between the blood of the organism and the inhaled air in the lungs. As we can see in the second figure to the right, the cell, the blood capillary, carbon dioxide gas diffusing from the cell to the blood capillary, and oxygen gas diffusing from the blood capillary to the cell. Pulmonary respiration. What is pulmonary respiration? It is a mode of respiration in which air is inhaled through the nasal and oral cavity, the nose and mouth. It moves through the pharynx, larynx, and trachea into the lungs. Then air is exhaled, flowing back through the same pathway. Changes to the volume and air pressure in the lungs trigger pulmonary ventilation. Breathing. What is breathing? Breathing is the procedure of inhaling the air and exhaling it. Inhalation and exhalation are the two main movements of breathing. Inhalation. Air moving from the outside to inside the organism. We inhale from our nose. Exhalation. Air moving from the inside to the organism to the outside. We exhale from our mouth. Note that the nostrils of the nose purify the air from dust for instance. And the lungs during inhalation are inflated. However, during exhalation, the lungs are deflated. Breathing and respiration. Some might ask, what is the difference between breathing and respiration? Well, they are different. This respiration is a chemical process that takes place in the cell, while breathing is a biological process that is made up of two main movements, inhaling air and exhaling it, as we said before. Carbon dioxide. How do we test the presence of carbon dioxide? In order to test it, we do the lime water test. Lime water is a solution. Okay, at the beginning of the experiment, the lime water is clear, as we can see in the first tube, that the lime water has a clear aspect. When we put CO2 gas, which is carbon dioxide, it produces a milky, cloudy, and turbid appearance. That happens as a result of the mixing of carbon dioxide gas, calcium carbonate, and calcium hydroxide, as we can see in the figure to the right. Conclusion We conclude that we use the lime water to test or indicate the presence of carbon dioxide gas. Then, what do we use to measure the oxygen? Well, it's an instrument called oximeter. Respiration in an aerial and aquatic medium. Vertebrates are similar to humans and other mammals. They use lungs for respiration and breathing. Here is a, a sketch of the pathway of air. You can see it moving from the nasal cavities to the pharynx, then larynx, moving to the trachea, dividing it to the bronchi and bronchioles, and then finally to the alveoli. Alveoli is the plural form and its singular form is alveolus. Bronchi is the plural form, and the singular form is bronchus. Note that the pharynx is the common pathway of food and air, and the alveoli are tiny air sacs found in the lungs. Alveoli. Alveoli are the site of exchange at the level of the lungs, and that's because they have a very thin wall, and they are rich with blood capillary. A gas exchange that occurs between the alveoli and the blood 
O2 gas diffuses from the alveoli to the blood. Oppositely, carbon dioxide gas diffuses from the blood to the alveoli. Exercises To practice more about all the objectives to be covered, kindly follow the link below and you can find it in this video in the description below. Conclusion, I really hope you enjoyed my short presentation and benefited from it. Thank you for listening.